Well, finally able to film some of these things outside the house. I'll do the best I can with the sun available. Today is a Sunday, September 16th, 2018, and I'm looking down our little street. We have five houses on this cul-de-sac and uh, looking at Picnic Point Road down there. And uh, looking just about west. And coming around and this is a Peterson's boat in our lovely uh, butterfly bush in their house sorry about the shaking this is Charlie's house where Seeing the front stoop, looking to almost north. And we are in the process of filling this area right next to the house with topsoil. Hopefully Sam will come Monday and finish this up, bring some soil. And looking somewhat Southwest, we see Bruce and Rita's house with the, his red Corvette. I think it's a 94, 1994. And this is our lower front yard that's just been done, and you see our Japanese lace leaf, of course, which is dropping leaves right now. It looks kind of bad. We have a St. John's wart, believe it or not. Rose bush. Now we've put probably four or five yards of topsoil here and have dug out all the cruddy soil that we have here of sand and little smooth rocks. And uh, right over there we have a heather and that one is a, a dwarf burning bush. It will be red in November, December. A nice rose bush. Some yard cleanup. Looking kind of north. Looking almost east. I know you guys will know directions upstairs in our two-car garage, O2 STS Cadillac, nice railing we put in. Super tall trees. This is the north side of the house and uh, our path is looking out the kitchen window. I'm not looking out the kitchen window but the kitchen window sees this view and we'll develop that next year looking about northwest. This is kind of the north side of our nice deck plastic boards and looking about northeast so another nice handrail and looking kind of southeast down the path and looking up to the upper part our big trees wonderful verbena and some uh, so-called Mexican feather grass the uh, Shasta daisies are gone they were real nice when they were out a couple months ago Our 
Mary Shrubrose Corumba. A few blossoms left. It really blooms five or six months of the year. And of course our Caria plentiflora, which in uh, May June has probably thousands of little orange blossoms that you see. Where is that little puppy? Huh. Oh, there it is. It's little orange blossoms like that. Take you up there now, or not. And on our deck, we have some nice chairs, and uh, I sprayed that one blue, and we're a nice metal marble table. And we have a Nastilbe here, and sword fern, and uh, down there we have some Japanese black mondo grass, shade only. And our wonderful uh, Camellia sasangua. Last year, about November, December, it blooms. That's what a sasangua is, a winter blooming camellia. And it had these wonderful white blossoms with a yellow center. I'll take you back there now. Next to the house, this is the south side of the house, our air conditioning unit. Looking about west from the, oops, Peterson house. Just in front of the air conditioning unit we have this Nandina, it's called uh, Gulf Stream. Wonderful new growth is very colored. We have a nice roadie down there. We have some blueberry plants. Another roadie is um, Webster out in the first name and then we have some uh, new plants have some lavender right there and then we have some black-eyed Susan more lavender more black-eyed Susan more lavender this is a Spanish lavender it's really pretty we have some flax and some ornamental grasses. And this lavender is, saw this at the uh, similar one at the nursery in Silver Anouk, A N O U K, I think. Really pretty. And not to forget our standby generator. It's a uh, 22 kW and I had it service all 23 circuits of the house so when the public utility goes out you count five seconds you hear the motor go on and then finds five seconds later lights go on wonderful very expensive and his wall came to about there and I asked the neighbor if we could extend that wall. He said, yeah, go ahead. So we built that level. Looking east, we have a Crocosmia. It's kind of an orangey red. Boy, it's really pretty. And we have some sword fern there. Coming back from that little trip. This is a neat little pebble because it 
as you can see it's two colors when it's wet it's like the dark when it's dry it's like the light so it's kind of a little rain indicator so we'll go up these 19 steps to the terrace level looking about north we'll put a little cistus there black gold cherry tree and another carrier plant of flora that we took off the major mother plant and uh, azalea over four feet tall called cheerful giant and uh, put in these nice flagstone path here and we have Virginia these are pink on this side and we have white on this side and we have a magnolia bush not doing real well and we have a let's see sorry about the shaky right in front of the bucket is a red burgi um, berberus and we have a another cystus and then we have uh, another uh, dwarf burning bush which again leaves turn red in winter we have some verbena lovely lovely color I don't know if you can really see it or not and of course looking west from the terrace and uh, the house is situated get a view of what we see from the terrace looking toward the southwest continuing the view probably south southwest a new path we put in with pebbles put the again the weed, weed barrier down it works out just really wonderfully we have some uh, right here in the front just past the railing we have a potentilla primrose beauty and it's been blooming for five or six months then looking at the upper level here we have all kinds of plants I'll identify them later we have a nice little garden here we have a Bartlett pear and over here we put a white peach continuing on from the white peach we built that wall up in this little garden this little garden has uh, some kind of a wild vine but we have three blackberry bushes doing very well. Um, I think this is a patchy. And this one is a, a rough um, Kiowa. And there's one over here kind of lying down but anyway and we have some uh, wild brambles and terrible things uh, but we have this little stalk from a major mother plant it's a uh, cornus solanifera it has little white clusters of blossoms so we'll want to eventually have kind of a hedge and we put in a right there a red crepe myrtle and looking east we have another crepe myrtle this one's white and then back over here right over the 
railing we have a ginkgo biloba and we have right there a huckleberry plant hopefully we'll get some berries off it next year and looking into the forest in the east see it's heavily wooded nobody will ever build there nice looking kind of northwest another potentilla and some creeping jenny it's wonderful ground cover because the roots are so shallow but in June there's just a yellow carpet have another potentilla there and that's our Camellia sasangua another potentilla there not sure what it is could be sunset red we have a forsythia right there down the next level another potentilla another potentilla looking about almost south and another shrub rose carumba we had we got three plants out of that one plant and uh, there's another one down there you won't see the true color because this camera doesn't pick up that color but anyway we have a whole bunch of plants up here I'll identify them for you here's another 